Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Tyrone here. If you're a lover of luxury fashion, accessories, handbags, food, and travel, then you're gonna love it here. So go ahead and subscribe down below. Be sure to turn on your bell notification, that way you can be updated when I upload my next video. Also, follow me on Instagram at Ty's Closet, that way you can see real-time, real-world reviews and updates in my life. Also, I post videos every Wednesday, so be sure to mark your calendars. And we're going to jump into today's video head first. I'm not going to try and talk too much. But as you can see from the title below, today is an unboxing of my very first Brandon Blackwood bag. Um, super excited. I've had this for about three weeks now. I picked this up during his semi-annual sale. Um... I had been looking at this bag for a very long time, just never pulled the trigger on purchasing because I didn't think I needed it. And then his sale happened and I was like, save some coins, buy the bag. Um, first off, I know I said I wasn't going to run my mouth, but I want to talk about his packaging. Um, it's really luxe. It's really nice. It's really heavy. Um, it's very sturdy. And then once I take the bag out, um, I'll even show you another reason why I feel like luxury houses, particularly like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, um, Prada, need to step up their packaging game when it comes to their boxes and their dust bags. I don't understand how a brand like him, who has less buddy, is beating them at their own game when it comes to packaging. Because let's not forget, the luxury experience does not stop once I have the item in my hand. It should continue um, once I have it in my hand. It should still give me a sense of some va va -juge. You know, you know, I think I said that right. You know, y'all know what I mean. Um, but inside the box, on the inside, it has Brandon Blackwood um, inside the lid. Again, attention to detail. He didn't miss that at all. Um, he also has a cute little card. And I believe when he first started his company, he was actually hand signing these. I don't believe he hand signs them anymore, but it's just a thank you card telling you for thank you for purchasing um, from his company. But there's the beautiful bag. We will get to her in two seconds. Um, that small piece of attention, that small attention to detail I wanted to talk about first. You see how there is a cutout in the foam. This is foam, by the way, for the bag to sit. And in the back is also foam. That's the care instruction booklet. I don't understand why fashion houses that charge us $3,000, $2,000, $4,000 for a handbag cannot give us packaging with matching cutouts or at least some type of foam protection even if it's not an exact cutout to that bag, something other than just throwing my bag in a dust bag in a dust bag and then throwing it in a box. You know, I want I wanted something a little bit more in my luxury, you know? Brandon Blackwood, keep it up, because this right here sealed the deal um, for me to buy more bags from you. I see that you want your bags to make it to their customer safely in one condition or in one piece and you want your customer to still open the box after they've put it back in it to still feel wowed by their product. And sir, you've done that. So, on to the real reason you're here. Um, again, I wanted this bag for a while and I did not purchase the size that I originally wanted um, because it was sold out. Go figure when there's something on sale. But I got the next best thing, so the size down and so what I picked up is the Brandon Blackwood mini Kendrick trunk in beige snakeskin as you see here she has Brandon Blackwood in gold hardware across the front um, she is finished in gold hardware this bag is completely covered in snake skin and I've always wanted an exotic bag um, but they've always been a little out of my price range, um, for me to buy one. And when this bag became available on the sale, I immediately bought it. 
Um, unbeknownst to my husband at the time, he did not know uh, until I told him that it was coming. Um, but I'm so excited to have this. It's a cute little date night bag. You're not going to get your whole entire life into it. Also, if you've been following my channel since I started, you know I love feet on a handbag and there's feet. So I'm super excited. But not only is there feet, they have little protectors on them. And I have not taken the little protectors off of the feet because I don't want them to get scratched. Um, so I'm going to be keeping the little protectors on the feet. Um, that way they don't get scratched up. Not that I would ever particularly want to resell this bag. Um, but you never know. You don't want my, you don't want your stuff getting all scratched up. Um, I love it. It's cute. Um, I've used it once since having it. And let me tell you, it's a showstopper. Um, you know, she's, she's not going to knock the girls completely dead, but she's going to stun them for a while. And they're going to be like, how? And where did you get it from? Like, sorry, you can't get it anymore for that price. Um, I originally wanted the larger size of this, which I will put here so you guys can see the size reference. Um, instead, I ended up with the mini size, which is perfectly fine. And actually, I'm kind of happy I ended up with the mini size because once I got it and saw literally everything is covered in snakeskin, I don't need that big of a bag bumping into corners or bring against my clothes, um, potentially damaging the scales um, on the bag. This is my first bag that is an exotic skin completely. So it's kind of a learning process for me a little bit. I'm gonna have to take it to a leather worker or maybe send it into like the leather, leather surgeons um, like once a year just to have it conditioned and taken care of. Because again, I don't know how to take care of snake skin. Um, the care instruction guide says it should see an exotic specialist once a year. And I'm like, what did I just buy? Did I buy a Ferrari? Like, I don't know what I bought. Um, but again, I love it. I think it's cute. And for the price, um, you can't beat it. The original price of this bag was $300 and it was on sale for $150. Um, after tax and shipping, I paid $169.57. And that's so cheap. Like, that is insanely cheap for something covered in snakeskin. Um, I do have my eye on the Kendrick large, the Kendrick large size or the regular size trunk in the uh, Salvatore Ombre Lizard. <sighs> I will also put a picture of it somewhere in here. That bag. If I ever had enough money to buy the Hermes Birkin or Kelly version. I will also post those here. Um, I'd buy those in a heartbeat too, but to have this little baby boy um, in that lizard skin, I'd be set for a while. I'd be very, very happy. Um, but it's sold out. So I'm going to have to wait and see if it comes back in stock. Because that one I don't think was on the sale, or was it? I'll have to look. Um, but yeah, I wanted it and I didn't get it. But hey, we still scored a bag. Yes, ma'am, we did. Also, I kind of want to go over what fits in this because I think on camera it's coming off a little larger than what it is. Um, again, I've carried it one time and I have note, before I get into what fits in it, I have carried it once. And the one thing I did notice when I carried it was my little B mechanism here on the top that locks the bag. If I can get that open right. She's a little wonky. When you open this up and she sits back, she's, she, she's a little wonky. So I don't know if that is normal for all of the Kendrick trunks or if that's just mine, a certain batch of them. I don't know. Um, it's not going to stop me from purchasing more from him. It's not going to stop me from using this bag. 
but um, I like to keep things real on this channel and not everything is daisies and roses and that's just something that I noticed when I first got it. She's just a little wonky. She's a little loose than what I would expect. Um, I also forgot to mention that it does come with a matching crossbody strap that is fully adjustable and it also does come with matching gold hardware as well and this bag sits pretty good on me um, I actually like where it drops it drops about I think the drop is about 22 inches in length on the strap so it hits pretty decently on my hip for me again for reference I'm 5'11 roughly about 300 pounds so I'm not a small person by any means but it looks so good on my frame which I love um, also the inside is just a one open black textile compartment there's no zip compartments no slip compartments no card compartments and then it just says Brandon Blackwood New York on the inside label um, so yeah you're not gonna fit a whole lot in here this is definitely a date night type situation of a bag um, I can fit my Louis Vuitton key clay in that has my car keys let's see what else my chapstick from Jeffree Star I think I could probably fit my Fendi wallet in I'm trying to remember what all I carried that day when I did carry it and I, you know what I think that's all I carried that day nope my car my house keys uh, with my cute little coach keychain that matches my blue tabby but yeah that's yeah that's about it you're not getting anything else in there and if I can close it y'all look real world okay <laughs> but yeah that's that's about it all you're gonna get in there it's a cute little date night bag but I I wouldn't carry this every single day just because it is an exotic but that's kind of how everything is all stacked up in there I'll spin it around but yeah there may be some space for maybe like some gum um, some mints but this is definitely going to be a date night bag or a special occasion bag great for weddings I've heard um, but yeah that's how I stuffed her full of all of my crazy shenanigans that day when I did carry her but yeah so I am glad to say I'm a proud owner of a Brandon Blackwood now into my collection of other beautiful bags um, hopefully we'll be adding a few more into the collection soon what well, time will tell um, I hear that he's supposed to be having some new items come up so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and see what he releases. Maybe I won't buy that lizard after all. Maybe I'll buy something else. Who knows? My birthday and wedding anniversary are also two days apart. So I could just tell the husband, hey, I need a new bag. Love you bunches. Um, but that won't be happening because I'm on punishment for buying bags. <laughs> and so is he. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my cute little unboxing of my beautiful Brandon Blackwood bag. And as always, remember, the bag doesn't wear you, you wear the bag. Until the next video, bye guys.